Hey guys, welcome to I'll Shoot Comics Off Topic. We're your host Kirby Kid and Black Superman, also known as David Clark and Walter Bryant. And today we'll be talking about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles: Out of the Shadows. And it should go back into the shadows with the freaking fact that they have Megan Fox as April. So, <laughs> as a disclaimer, I have only seen the original three movies and then not the new first one. Um, and I also hold a very unpopular opinion about the first three movies. So. I had to educate her. We started <laughs> off with the golden first one, second one, because awesome song, though some may disagree with me on that. Um, <laughs> but her favorite within no. the first 15 seconds, no, no. she goes, this one is pretty awesome. Why, are, why was this like on your poo list? Is the freaking third movie where they're samurais no. and they go back in time because that makes sense with their storyline. In the order of the movies that I liked, it went one, three, two. <laughs> and Sounds like you can't count. The views <laughs> of Offshoot Comics and Off Topic, the, the show, do not reflect, or my views don't reflect the views of Offshoot Comics. Um, so don't don't get mad at David and Get glad. Walter. Get glad. <laughs> Sponsorship. <laughs> But I think, okay, as an overall, it was cool, just visually. It's kind of weird that they have really very uh, in-your-face nostrils now. Yeah, the nostrils are creepy. It's really distracting, because yeah. they flare and stuff. But um, now I feel like I have to touch my nose. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so Megan Fox plays Megan Fox playing Megan Fox playing April. Not impressive. Um, she just stares at the camera a lot and goes, oh. Um, and if she has her own time to put dialogue in, it's so sad. She just repeats the person's name that she's in the scene with. The main, like, it's coming to a climax. And she's in a car, which is about to flip. And she just keeps going, Casey! Casey! Come on. Be more creative. It's like she took Shia LaBeouf's role of going, no, 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 no. <laughs> On the plus side, Casey Jones is back. On the negative side, I felt this movie was... A little bit too reminiscent of the second movie. Yeah, they were trying to. Shredder teams it. up with a scientist on an ooze, and and they have. Yeah, to but stop now they it. have the rights. Yeah. So before they couldn't have Bebop and Roxetti, they had to give new creatures, which were creepy and creepy babies. It's very complicated. If you haven't seen it, go watch it because the awesome turtle song is in there from Vanilla Ice, and it makes you go like this. Every time. I don't care what you say. I hate it. Go ninja, go ninja, go, I was, go ninja, I was taken go ninja, aback go. from, uh, from the, <laughs> the, what's the word? The lore, I guess? The change in, in lore from the original movies when, um, when Casey was making fun of the turtles' names and, uh, April goes, I named them. I, yeah, I had to go, changed, what? They changed, they changed it. They, they changed the backstory of how they became them. Yeah. Like, with the fact that... Well, you, have, you haven't seen the first one, so that would make sense as to why. Like, I had to fill you in during right. the movie. But April is the one who owned the turtles, and she had them as pets when her dad was the scientist in the lab, and then she named them all, and they knew her prior, and then they rekindle their relationship and then become like, we're gonna save the city friends! Which is an okay story, but in the original stuff... Which you definitely like. You, I know you like the storyline. We yeah. talked about that because mm -hmm. it's awesome. But um, they have oh, just—it's a deeper like they struggled to survive in the sewers. Yeah, and they didn't have that. This, now they had it, they uh, have it this way. Pretty kitschy. It was like a sewer mansion. Yeah. What do they? They called it. Um, a, uh, it was like a theme park, an underground theme yeah. park. <laughs> I remember that. And Casey makes fun of it. Um, Overall, I say it's entertaining if you want it to stick with the main original stuff. It's definitely gone even more askew than the first one. If if it was its own movie that was not tied to any kind of franchise before, I would have thought it was delightful. <laughs> but since I had very recently seen the Ninja Turtles original movies, um, and it's connected to this long-standing uh, franchise, it... It just seemed like it tried too hard to break itself away, but still hold on to the name. Mikey was great. Mikey, I think, was my favorite part of that movie. <laughs> Mikey's always funny. Yeah. He's, he, he wins everyone's hearts. I know. Because he's so sweet. And that's why he's called the heart of the team. Mm -hmm. They even say that when they like do their little powwow and have like inside 
connections with each other in front of these Ew. people that wouldn't understand. <laughs> but it's I thought it was um, the way that they've taken their characters and developed them mm-hmm. too extreme on all of their different aspects. Like, yeah, Raph has always been brooding and aggressive, but he's never been, like, stupid. Yeah. And they kind of make him seem stupid here. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, if you don't agree with me, then hit me up. My brother's favorite is Raph, so, like, I can't diss him too hard or else I'll get punched when I go to my brother's house next. But, like, Donnie has always been the, like, wisecracking smart one, and I, like, he's my favorite. They push him too far to the nerdy spectrum, Mm -hmm. where, like, he removes his emotions a lot, um, which they actually said Leo does, and he's, like, a bot to them, but I, I just think... They took everything to the extreme for all of this, and a lot of the cute and fun parts from the original and anything prior from this franchise was. I don't I know if that makes sense. I, I feel strongly <laughs> for this franchise. Yeah, um, overall, it was a fun time, but it, it wasn't like, it, it's not, I don't think it was made for Ninja Turtle fans. At least not for the OGs. Yeah. But But that's it for this video, guys. Until next time, we've been your hosts, Kirby Kid and Black Superman. See you later, guys.